Understanding In-Game Currency, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of video games, specifically focusing on the term in-game currency. This concept is not just fun, but it's also a great way to expand your English vocabulary and understanding of digital culture. So, let's get started. In-game currency refers to virtual money used within a video game. Unlike real money, you can't use it to buy things in the real world. It's designed exclusively for transactions within the game environment. Examples include buying equipment, accessories, or upgrades for your character. Think of it as Monopoly money, but for video games. There are typically two types of in-game currency. One, earned currency. This is obtained by playing the game. For example, completing missions, defeating enemies, or achieving certain goals. Two, purchased currency. Sometimes, you can buy in-game currency with real money. This allows players to access certain features more quickly. In-game currency plays a big role in the gaming world. It can affect how players interact with the game and each other. For instance, having a lot of in-game currency might show a player's skill or dedication. However, it's important to remember that it's all part of the virtual experience. Let's learn some related terms. Microtransactions, small purchases within the game, often involving in-game currency. Virtual economy, the in-game economic system where currency is used. Grinding, playing the game for long periods to earn in-game currency. And that's a wrap on in-game currency. I hope this video has shed some light on this unique aspect of gaming culture and helped you learn some new English phrases. Remember, gaming is a fun way to improve your language skills. See you in the next video.